Thomas Dimitrov joins us now. Thomas, how you doing? Mike Francesa up in New York on the fan. Yes, Network. Welcome. How are you? Mike, thanks for having me. My pleasure. All right, it's been a tough start. Uh, some very tough late-minute losses, a lot of injuries. Uh, how's it been day-to-day -day with your Falcons? You know, it might keep them upbeat as much as possible, Mike. I mean, it's not, it's not easy, obviously, but no one's feeling sorry for us. I really believe, and I believe this team is very, very positive now at 2-4, and four, that with all of our pieces still intact that we do have on the field, that we can continue to get back into uh, contention. You know, when you have a team, and – Nothing can be taken for granted in any NFL season, but when you have a team that is a, you know, a play away from the Super Bowl and expects to make that kind of run, was there any point this year where you started to worry about your team and whether they were going to be able to gather themselves? Well, I think we've, we've mentioned before we've made a concerted effort to have the right locker room, and I think that's a very big part of us being resilient you know, through these tough times this year whether it was, you know, injury-related or whether it was our loss-related and ending up on the L side of the win-loss columns, it's about being able to stay positive with it. And so were we agitated, disappointed, you know, uh, no question about it. But do we believe that we have the guys that can bring it back? We do again. And, and so I just I just like where we are. And, and I know you're going to probably ask me about the Tony Gonzalez yep. discussion at the uh, uh, I'll let you segue into that. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously everyone knew he came back and came back for this run, so everyone figured with Kansas City logically having this year that, you know, maybe he'd be shipped back there, but you've been pretty adamant about that not happening, right? Yeah, I mean, Mike Smith mentioned it, and I've been very, very uh, direct about it. It's absolutely not going to happen. It's not going to happen uh, at, at any level. You know, myself, I talked to... to uh, very, very briefly, albeit with uh, Arthur Blank and Coach Smith, we sat down and uh, we just discussed the fact that we were all going to say categorically never. It's not going to happen. Tony's a huge part of this team and this fan base. And, and you know, again, we believe we are still very much uh, in, in the race. What was the harder part, uh, Thomas? We're talking with Thomas Dimitrov, the Falcons general manager. The last second defeats, the rash of injuries. Uh, I think uh, I think the the, um, the last last second defeat side of things can be can be can be tough can be tough to deal with, um, but it's it's a combination of everything. And again, we're again I just I can't stress enough how important this 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 locker room is and our positivity. Can you can you sense even just having and the Giants are going through a little of it this week. Can one win in the right direction just start you back on a path when you're a team that has had success? Do you sense that with just one victory like you got last week? You know, and I don't like to be hokey about it at all, but I really believe that was a very, very important win for us. This team needed, uh, you know, the proverbial spark. Mike Smith was going to provide it along with Matt Ryan and the rest of our, you know, our playmakers, and I think our team stood up and did what they needed to do. Now, we still have a long way to go. We need to get more and more consistent in a lot of different areas. Smitty's been very outspoken about that. And, again, I think that we can do it. One win did really help uh, for us to move forward. You're two and four going to Arizona. What is – now, you're three and a half games behind in a division with a team playing well in New Orleans. What's a realistic number? Do you say to your team there's a realistic number to get into the playoffs? No, you know, I, don't, I think our, our – approach and like many and, and again albeit cliche is is really focusing on you know each opponent that we have there's no way for us to look too far ahead right now because you know we are behind a little bit and we're gonna have to you know we're gonna have to catch up so i think our main our main deal is to get our guys back continue to win so we can get our our uh, our injured playmakers back and continue to affect you know going forward so that's where our heads are, and that's how Smitty's leading this team. You know, you guys have a very together group, you, and uh, from your owner on down, that's very and a very good group. You guys have had a lot of success, and you're a team that people expected big things from this year. Do you and your owner have to take a different view on the rest of the season because of all the injuries, or is that is that is this season for you will be judged the same way every season would be? Uh, yeah, and I don't, we all believe no one's no one's feeling sorry for anyone with injuries because it's happening exponentially across the league, as you well know. And you know, I think that the big thing is to compete, compete hard, deal with what we have to deal with, 
have our guys step up who, you know, are, are sitting in for or stepping in for those players. I mean, Tom Brady was, you know, did a marvelous job with it a few couple weeks ago, you know, playing with, you know, where he was, tapping around the league and a number of different teams. It's up to us to, again, rise to the occasion, not to seal our, our uh, advertising mantra or, or campaign to rise up, but our players definitely need to do that. It doesn't matter where they are on the depth chart. You know, this year, for some reason, and there's very few trades, as you know, Thomas, usually, and we're coming up on the trade deadline Tuesday. This year, there's been a tremendous amount of conversation, even here in New York, because of the Giants' plight. Uh, a lot of talk of people shopping for wide receivers. We have had an abnormal number of injuries. Do you expect there to be a lot more action this week than normal in the, in, in the NFL? I don't at all. I mean, I did some tracking of it over the last couple of weeks, and sure there have been some, you know, there have been some moves and a lot of discussion about it, but it's not been that far off at all. There have been other years in the last three or four years where it's been as, as active or more active. So, and I believe it was 2010 where there were even more more moves to date. Um, obviously, the the uh, CBA year and such, but I don't believe it's going to happen. I believe that there are a lot of people that are philosophically. Uh, against the idea of making big trades in season. I mean, you not only have to learn the system that you're going into, but quite honestly, a lot of times there, there's a reason, uh, you know, there's a reason that teams are looking to trade certain people. So I think, and then the end of it, as you know, Mike, there's compensation involved, and we all have to be willing to give up. We can't just get and not give up. 